we're gonna cook some beautiful Action! <laughs> Here we are, we're gonna cook some beautiful, beautiful food inspired food. from this exact place, man. Oh, uh, we've got some, we're doing a beautiful chicken cassoulet with all these fresh veggies, some fresh, beautiful fresh garlic straight from Charlie's Ooh. garden. We've got our pans on going. Now, we'll throw a little bit of olive oil on that beautiful chicken, Pete. If I can get you just to swap those bits of chook around. Is that extra virgin? Extra virgin olive oil. Marvellous. Australian? Yes, always Australian, mate. Fantastic. So all I want you to do is basically whack him on there. Ah. And he's going to start grilling away and getting a bit of colour. All we want to really do is seal in the chicken. I'm going to whack the oil in there so he gets nice and hot. How's your chicken going, Petey? Did you fit it all oh, in? It's, uh, it's chicken still. Good, that's what we like. What we want. So the oil's going to crack in there. I'm just going to literally crack on here. Fresh garlic. You can see that store, Pete, up, the, up there. Oh, I just want to take that leaves off. Nice. And I'll take that root off there. Rooted. Rooted. Gone. All right, that fresh garlic, I'm going to cut that stalk up, throw him straight in. And this little baby, we don't want the little bits of garlic in there, so we're going to leave it quite whole. That's all I want to do. That's about a month away from being ready, so you can see how juicy and oh, got a real peppery fragrance in there. Wow. Let's just chuck that straight in the pot. In we go. Love a little Spanish onion. Your mm. chicken's going well, man. I bless. Here's our onions. Leave them quite chunky as well. We want a bit of life in there. All right, straight into the pot. Celery. Take that little end off again. We don't need that. Keep it quite rough. Yeah. Straight into the pot. Your chicken's going nice over there, man. I'm, I'm, I'm uh, good at this. This is my favorite ingredient of all time, man. Cinnamon. Uh, this is a really A-grade. Smell that one. Whoa! See this fragrance in that, and I love putting these in cassoulets because because we're doing a red wine base in this cassoulet, it's going to really pop out with the fragrance. Throw him in there as well. This lemon, you rec remember when we got that off the tree before? Yeah. I'm going to take the ends off. I don't want the flesh. Just the what's that? Just the pith. Just the skin. Yeah. We want to leave as much pith on that lemon flesh as we can. So we'll take it off. That's just going to give it that little sort of fragrance again, because I mean, I, you know, I love fragrance in food. So I think we eat with our nose before we actually eat with our mouth. So that goes in there like that. We've got some beautiful mushies. Now these are just uh, your field mushies, mate. Yeah. That's getting nice colour in there now. So you got a little bit of colour. Time to turn. Okay. Again. Thick slices. Ooh, mate, you love mushrooms. Oh yeah, mushrooms are great, aren't they? And they again go, they're classic uh, flavours of red wine and mushies. Oh. And whack them in there and they're going to sort of Oh, apparently so, apparently so. In we go. Beautiful, that's going to go around in there. Last little thing is carrots. I'm going to top and tail them. Little carrots. Nice little chunks. Alright, I reckon your chicken, man, is probably pretty close. Tended, just tended, just tended. start flipping him over a little bit. Yeah, we just want a little bit of texture in there. Yeah. It's really primarily, it's not about colour, it's primarily about sealing that, the goodness inside and the flavour. Because all the moisture in that chicken is going to come in the bone. And that's the most important thing. Well, i got some little... Do you like olives? I <laughs> love olives. <laughs> I have tasted a few good ones yeah. in my time. Ka Kalamata olives. Mm. And I've got some little, um, some little gherkins here. Little... Uh, Fellas, let's just do a rough cut. And this is going back into the sort of the Macedonian and the Eastern European sort of flavours when you start using these. Mm -hmm. In they go. Now that is going to a little sort of bubble away a little bit. What I'm going to do here is a pomegranate. I'm going to go left field, man. Pomegranate. pomegranate. All right. I, I don't know much about pomegranate. Okay, these are really cool. So we just want to pat it and we want to soften it up a bit. There's a lot of little seed pods in there. Right. So we want to break them open a bit. All right. I have drunk the juice. It's supposed yeah, to be very, yeah. very good. Here we go. Look how juicy that is. Oh, wow. And look in there. There's a little seed pods. I literally want to tap it, and you'll see those little pods are going to pop out. Wow. And you got a juice in there. You got flavour in there, and that's heaps of vitamin C. That's that's what they're really good for. If you want to bring that chicken over to me, man. We'll do it. That'd be great. Whack him on the board. Cool. Yeah. And I'll whack him straight into our little stew in there. And as you can see, we've kept all those nice bones in there. And that actually gives the meat moisture. And you can see already, just from pan frying, some of that meat has come off. All the fragrance from that is going to come out. And all that oil and that beautiful goodness in there. 
going to put in that as well. Let's whack him out of the way. All right, if you want to cut that lemon, if you remember we cut the peel off the lemon before, yep. cut him in half and we're going to squeeze him in. I've got some beef stock here. The reason I'm using beef stock, just because I like the flavour. You want to put about half a litre. Squeeze the lemon juice in. It's going to give another flavour, fragrance and, and taste to it. Can a bit of Shiraz. Here we go. How much do we want, you reckon? I reckon we just want sort of enough. Well, just enough so we yeah. can still drink the rest, yeah. There you go, I think that's enough. You take the bottle. I shall. I'm going to put the lid on. Uh-huh. This is going to go for probably about half an hour. Let's okay. nick off, let's have a look around the rest of the farm. Let's do it. Cool, let's go. So it's been about half an hour. Our beautiful chicken cassoulet is all cooked, man. Grab the bowl in there, that's beautiful. You can see in here, I'm going to turn my gas off so we don't blow up, Pete. No, we wouldn't do that. Let's take the lid off. Can you smell that? Whip oh. your head over there and have a smell. You can smell that. All those fragrances have all coming out of here. Your cinnamon, and your onions, oh. all that sort of stuff. And you can see the chicken is starting to heat. It's just falling off the bone. Oh. That means the juice from that bone inside has keep that meat nice and fresh. All right, what we want to do now, oh, let's just serve it, man. Let's just serve it. Beautiful Maryland thigh. It's working out that. We'll get one drumstick. Like right, that. I think that's nice. Here we go. A whole half garlic, some onions. Let's throw it on top. Look at that. Oh. So you, you just eat that garlic clove. Yeah, you could just munch on it. It's going to be a bit zingy, but why not? You know, that is the freshest garlic you'll ever have. Some I'll more. Watch of that. Pull it out of the ground. Some more stock. Our pommy. Give it a nice tap again, and we'll get all those little seeds out, and they're going to start falling out of my hand on top, and you're going to get that. <laughs> Here they come, here they come. All right, they've dislodged now. That's enough, see? They've got a real bite in them, haven't they? All right, now we've got some nice basil. Like a nice bit of basilic down there. That's nice. What else we've got in here, man? I've got some, this is thyme from Charlie's Garden. All right, just gonna take the little nice bits off around the edges, like so. I just milked that the moment you broke it. Not your favorite thing, Pete, but a bit of rosemary. Oh, I'm still gonna do it. I'm just gonna put a little, none of you good rosemary. In. There we go, mate. Look at that. A stunning chicken cassoulet with all the fragrance, fresh herbs, all from Charlie's garden. Stunning, isn't it?